Hey guys, Paleo Greenbird here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Um, I wanted to do a quick video today. <clears throat> so some crazy times that we're living in, right? We have a lot going on politically. We have a lot going on just within our own country. Yeah, a lot of division amongst ourselves, amongst our friends, amongst our family. S something of which we have not seen in my lifetime. I've never seen anything to this extent. And sometimes I have to go back and re give myself a reality check and say, you know, am I just being a little extra paranoid or, you know, am I reading too much into it? Am I just old and crotchety? Um, but I look back objectively and I look at what I've experienced in my lifetime and this is nothing like anything I've ever seen, even as a young child. Uh, we're seeing hyperinflation. If you have not seen hyperinflation, you're not looking for it. We're seeing supply demand diminish, or I'm sorry, supplies diminish and demand increase. Uh, we're seeing all of these things. And unfortunately, it's a, it's a pathway to an irreversible outcome, which is why now is the time to start building your ark if you don't already have one going. And that can be anything, you know, you, you could, your mind could go crazy watching YouTube videos on all the ways that you can prepare and become self-reliant and independent, but my advice is just to do what you can within the means that you can, that's not stressing out uh, you physically, mentally, sorry, I've been doing my balancing exercises, and uh, financially as well. So whether that be getting some chickens or putting some extra food in the pantry, or maybe you have the means to do something much, much more significant than that. But what I wanted to share with you today is I watched a video of a channel that I've been subscribed to for quite some time, but most recently has really uh, impacted my views on a lot of different things. And that channel is Full Spectrum Survival. If you want to see a down to earth, no politics, no BS, all facts, then, uh, Full Spectrum Survival is a channel that you're going to want to frequent on a regular basis. And one of the things that kind of struck me on the latest video is Brad was showing a chicken coop and I think maybe another animal enclosure that he had made very modestly out of uh, zip ties and tarps and, and things like that. And, it, you know, I don't want to give away the video. Go over there and check it out. But it talks a lot about doing what you can with what you have. Um, and I just wanted to share, that inspired me to kind of share one of the things that I've done because I had, uh, it's a long story, but I had come into possession of a lot of somebody else's goods before they, um, you know, left to move to another country. And a lot of random things. And one of them was uh, just an inordinate, or inordinate, I don't think I'm using that word right, is a um, abnormal amount of zip ties. I mean, we're talking probably thousands. And I want to show you something real quick. So this is what's left of my old goat enclosure. You can see, uh, hopefully you can see, these are the panels. These are some orange flags that I put up. So anybody coming back onto my property would know that my goat are not deer. And that they're someplace they probably shouldn't be. But. Last year, I lost a bunch of chickens and I decided it was time to redo my chicken run. And, you know, I'm not going to get into a big Jimmy James sob story, but I had been out of work for a long time. Funds were extremely tight and our income was probably less than a third of what it had been. But I had all this extra stuff and I needed to redo my run. So what did I do is I took my zip ties. These fence poles were part of my old goat run. My goats are gone now, but I'm going to get them back here soon. And um, took these zip ties and just zip tied everything together. And this was just supposed to be temporary. So here's the caging that I have on the top too. It's the same stuff I used for the goat pen. It's just repurposed. Here's a, you can see a zip tie I didn't trim. And this was supposed to be temporary. This was supposed to get me by until I could you know, raise the funds to get something a little bit more substantial. But this thing has proven to be bulletproof. I mean, it's, it's survived a main winter, lots of ice, not as much snow as we normally have. You can see there are my two ladies, down to two. 
thanks to a large group of raccoons. But that's okay because I've got nine more inside getting ready to come out and I have 30 quail on the way. This is an old door that I had built just kind of half-ass like to keep in my goats before. There's some cinder blocks on the bottom that just happened to level it out perfectly enough. You know, you can see a theme here. I'm doing what I can with what I have and I'm benefiting from it. These are old hinges that I got from a neighbor who's very kind to me. We help each other out a lot. He's a great neighbor to have. I'm fortunate to have a neighbor like that. I put in this latch right here to keep my nesting box down because after staying up a, lo a lot of nights chasing off and trying to pick off raccoons, I figured out that they were not only getting into the run, but they were getting into the nesting box. So I put a latch there, put another latch here. It needs to be raised up just a little bit because it interferes with, with that, it makes it a little bit of a pain. Over here, when I got rid of my goats, I made a trade, and I'll, I'll, I guess I could do a video on why I get, got rid of my goats. I could have processed them. I wasn't able to get milk from them for a, a bunch of different reasons, but you know, that, like I said, that's another video. But in return, for taking those goats and giving them a good home, the gentleman gave me these rabbit hutches. And uh, this is what I'm going to use to raise my quail. I'm going to move them, of course, they're a little far away from the house right now. They need some repair. This one doesn't have the bottom metal part to catch the waste. So I may just use a bin until I can fix that. But it just, um, you know, that video really struck a chord with me because there's so much that you can do with so little. Um, repurpose your waste items. I'm saving all my soup cans and my juice cans and things like that because they, uh, they make a good rocket stove. You can see I took rocks. Well, the leaves are covering most of them, but you can see I took rocks and put them all around my run. To try and discourage predators from being able to sneak underneath that uh, fencing material. So anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. There's a lot you can do with what you think is trash. This whole thing was made from all repurposed stuff, including the green metal poles, everything. The cinder blocks, my neighbor was kind enough to give me. I did have some of the pavers on top, but he gave me most of the cinder blocks on the bottom. I used some logs to kind of secure the bottom there. There is fencing material behind those logs, but the logs just kind of work as a deterrent. So anyway, go check out Full Spectrum Survival. Awesome channel. Um, I'm not affiliated with him in any way, shape, or form. But um, yeah, he's a big channel. Well, he's got a lot of good information. Him and his family are really preparing themselves to live independently and detach from the system. And that's what we should all do, but I know that we're all limited in, as to the extent of what we can do, but we can all do something. And being overwhelmed and not doing anything is the worst possible thing you can do because that one, two, three things that you might be able to do might be just enough to where you can partner with somebody else who has one, two, three things they can do. And the next thing you know, between the two of you, you're, you're more free and liberated from the rat race and the system that has so much control and power over us. And I know that that sounds conspiratorial and it's probably gonna trigger some people, but it's true. When you depend on your paycheck, you depend on your groceries, you depend on your power, all those things come from other people. And if you can't provide those things for yourself and those other people aren't gonna provide them for you, then where are you left? What do you have? What do you really have? So anyway, I'm not gonna get too deep into it. Look into it yourself. Um, until next time, this is Greenbird signing out. Go get yourself some chickens.